After Yusef N. Asairi scored a spectacular first-half header, the underdogs held on for a historic 1-0 victory, becoming then the first African team or Arab team to advance to the World Cup semi-finals. When Ronaldo came on as a substitute early in the second half, he tied the record for most appearances for a player representing a country. However, he only had one noteworthy opportunity to try to even the score, shooting a close-range effort into goalkeeper Bono's hands. He then seemed a distant and frequently unhappy figure as his team failed to break down Morocco. Morocco's jubilant teammates rushed onto the field to celebrate while Ronaldo moved in the opposite direction and straight down the tunnel after the final whistle, a member of Portugal's support staff pointed the 37-year-old toward the dressing room as he covered his face and began to sob uncontrollably. Additional spectator video reveals that Ronaldo ignores a few Portuguese players who attempt to speak to him and keeps walking, the five-time Ballon d'Or winner completely disregarded a fan who raced onto the field to attempt to take a photo before leaving the field. While manager Fernando Santos gave his captain a quick pat on the back, Ronaldo received a ton of love on social media as he made such a devastating exit on the international scene, despite the fact that he has had his share of detractors, including after his explosive interview with Piers Morgan that resulted in the termination of his Manchester United contract. Ronaldo departs the World Cup as one of its most decorated players despite never having won it, he participated in the competition. 22 times. Which ranks sixth all time, scored eight goals, and became the first player to score in five different World Cups with his goal against Ghana in the opening group game, however, he has gone 570 minutes of knockout play and 27 shots without scoring in all eight of his World Cup knockout games, including a third-place playoff match.